Hello, Hi, Jay. How are you today? Good. Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, oh my God, I say this with the utmost respect. This series is insane in such a good way. I watched the whole season. I mean, wow. it is hilarious. It's great. Um, Thank you. My goodness, when you were approached to direct this, and not just one or two episodes, I mean, you did the whole season. I know. What was crazy. your initial reaction? That to was the it? craziest thing. Was agreeing to do all eight. I, you know, <laughs> I, I just fell for the character and. I was going to do just one, then I was going to do three, and then I was like, I, I don't know, I like elements of every one of these. What do you think of me doing all of them? And they were actually excited about that because then it meant we could kind of cross board and shoot it like a feature, you know, and shoot yeah. out each location from bits of every episode while we were there. So it became very efficient that way, but it was also a very unifying thing. The, the, I, I brought in cast I know I could work with for eight episodes. I brought in, you know, a crew that was excited to team up and, and do it with that kind of fluidity. And the scripts were so good. The showrunners were so excellent. Um, and I just, I just thought, you know, why not? I've never quite done anything like this. And it was a great yeah. adventure. Well, it was amazing. Um, I mean, the whole cast is fantastic. It just, you know, we're seeing Rupert Friend in this, you know, in a comedy. I love that. <laughs> uh, but Patricia Arquette, my God, like that woman has no fear as she gets older and older. She just gets better and better. I couldn't Why agree. Why do you think she more. was so great in this <laughs> in this role? You know, I think she wanted to play. You know, the the character she played in Severance is so fantastic and so terrifying, yeah. but is sort of bottled up you know and um that's what makes her yeah. makes her so so frightening and 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 engaging i think yeah but i think she was looking for something totally different as far from all along the spectrum a different direction and she said to me when when she asked me to read these scripts she just said i i do want to improvise a little bit I've, i don't usually do that and i'd like a chance to that. play yeah. you know and i was like yeah. oh well i know how to do that because that's how i was raised in a way was playing in the Austin Powers movies and casting people who would start with the script and stay in character and find their their zone but then could go off yeah. and surprise you you know and surprise us you know sometimes so when I heard that she was open to that and you know uh, talked to the showrunners about that too and they were you know they were a little skeptical to be honest at first because they wrote such good scripts they were really great reads but you can always find something else you know one when you're on the set that day if you have actors capable of of like you say staying in character and not just being you know spontaneous for yeah. spontaneity's sake they're actually still in the objective of the scene they know the turning points they know where it's heading but they'll they'll find some some wiggle room and patricia was great at that she she, she was so inhabited the character um and I swore to her that I would only cast people who would step up for to her level if they could, but also that she would want to step up to as well. That they would that yeah. I would surround her with the most drum, dramatically capable, but also super comedy capable people. And and we got lucky with Matt Dillon and Kira yeah. O'Donnell and Brad Garrett yeah, and great. Like every other amazing friend that Peter's like. We got so lucky with the casting. Yeah, she has some great one-liners, I got to say. I was writing some of them down because they're hilarious. Okay, so you mentioned Austin Powers. Of course, I got to go there because, um, huh. you know, I know Netflix is, is now announced that all three movies are going to be on this month. Oh, like wow. they're, they're dropping them all. So wow. I got to ask because, you know, Mike Myers, my BFF here from Toronto, when are we getting another <laughs> Austin Powers? I know you guys have been talking about this forever. Well, we've been talking about it for, what is it, 21 years since? Uh, Austin least. three, and we we always talk about it. it and you know, it, every time I say oh, maybe it gets announced, oh they're doing it. But I, it's 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 exactly where it's been for 21 years. When when Mike yeah. wants to do it, and has a, a story that he loves, um, you know, I would so love to rejoin and and figure out a way to to, to do it. But it's a, it's not it's not easy to deliver you know, on the expectations of something like that. And it, I always right. feel like any sequel has to so transcend where you last came from. And I think, I think Mike probably feels the same way. Yeah. Well, I think Peggy from High Desert could give Austin Powers a run for his money. <laughs> so maybe 
<laughs> you know, maybe do something there. Combine it. Right? I I uh, I think that could be a good a good challenge. They're both, as I, I was saying, they're both uh, sort of shagadelic in a certain way. They both are tapped into the hallucinogenic sixties, so um, they they might have more in common than we realize. Yeah, baby, for sure. <laughs> So much, Jay, for this. This is just a ride. I had so much fun. And oh wow! Fingers crossed for season two. Yeah, tell everybody. Tell them to there. get out there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks for your thanks. time. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye.